Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about 10 interesting facts you did not know about Kenya. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Kenya, for those who aren't familiar with their map, is a lovely country on Africa's eastern coast. It is home to the continent's second highest mountain, Mount Kenya, the Maasai Mara and its spectacular yearly wildebeest migration, most of the world's sports champions, and an extremely beautiful coastal line that includes Mombasa and Lamu. Although Kenya is associated with many lovely things, ski vacations, winter activities, and being snowed in are not among them. We're in the tropics, and the weather on this side of the sun is breathtakingly lovely. Kenya is a tourist destination. This country is breathtakingly gorgeous. There are still some facts about Kenya that even Kenyans are unaware of. As a result, here are 10 facts about Kenya that we're sure you didn't know. Number 10. Kenya contributes to the best in the world. Peace and Africa are rarely mentioned together. There are numerous horrific images of juvenile soldiers clad in AK-47s and HIV, AIDS destroying entire towns that dominate the news from the continent. Imagine being surprised to learn that Kenya is ranked 26th among the world's best countries, in research that ranks countries that contribute the most to global peace. This is due to the Kenyan government's commitment to resettling refugees from war-torn nations like Somalia and South Sudan, as well as the Kenyan people's overall openness to global issues and contributing to the technology industry. In fact, the first mobile money app was created in Kenya. Besa has changed people's lives all around the world. Kenya was the lone African country on this renowned list of largely European nations. Simply put, Kenyans aced Humanism 101. Number 9. Kenya is a splitting country. Most Kenyans arrived via various routes. People who settled in Kenya intermarried with cousins who migrated north to the Middle East, while those who settled in North Africa split up with cousins who migrated south. That is why most of the tribes in Kenya have a blend of nationalities. The equatorial location of Kenya provides it a lovely temperate environment, with temperatures ranging from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. The Earth's crust began breaking around 20 million years ago, creating Kenya's Great Rift Valley. But it kept dividing. The 3,500 km long volcanic rift valley may eventually split off and generate a new ocean like the Red Sea. They tell us that if the continent totally breaks off, people will not be left on the globe for millions of years. Number 8. Coffee is produced by Kenyans who only drink tea. While coffee production is Kenya's major economic contributor, most Kenyans do not drink coffee. They prefer tea. Kenya is the world's third largest producer of coffee, with prominent cafe chains like Starbucks proudly exhibiting Kenya-grown coffee beans. Back home, most Kenyans drink chai, a colonial drink. For example, a Kenyan would understand chai tea latte as tea latte. Most older Kenyans have never heard of iced tea, Tea is boiled with lots of milk and sugar. Number 7. There's the Big Five and then there's the Marine Five, all found in Kenya. Most safari guides in Kenya can identify the Big Five, elephant, rhino, lion, leopard, and buffalo. Did you know Kenya has the Marine Big Five? The Indian Ocean is in the south of the country, with a 1,420 km coastline, longer than the Seychelles and Barbados. A healthy marine ecosystem with coral reefs, magnificent islands, and animals larger than any of the land's big five. The humpback whale, big white shark, orca, huge manta ray, and tiger shark are examples. It's even been seen 30 times off the Kenyan coast. Number 6. A giant well under a hot desert is home to the original human. Northern Kenya is one of the world's hottest and driest regions. The Turkana tribe of Kenya inhabits this area, suffering from drought and water scarcity. But they stay. They are a nomadic tribe that follows the water, yet they have seen generations of cattle and children die of hunger and dehydration since they only wander about the desert where nothing grows. The shrinking El Turkana is proof of this unexplained phenomenon, according to mythology. Recent scientific research has led to the discovery of a massive aquifer, an undersea reservoir that scientists claim could feed the thirst of all 41 Kenyan tribes for the next 70 years. That's the combined population of California and Ohio. 
This arid location also has the oldest known human fossil. The Turkana boy was discovered in 1984 by Kamoya Kimu, a part of an anthropology team directed by Dr. Richard Leakey. A bronze skeleton can be seen in the gardens of Nairobi's renowned Matte Bronze Art Exhibition. The mythology of the water beneath the desert, where man made his first footprint on Earth, may be true. Number 5. First African Woman Nobel Peace Prize Winner Wangari Mathai, Kenya's Nobel Peace Prize recipient, was responding to Mother Nature's cry when she started her famed Greenbelt movement. She had no idea that she would also be responding to a worldwide appeal to produce the first African woman to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Wangari, often known as Mama Mighty or Mother of Trees, had only one mission. She set out to plant as many trees as she could in her lifetime, recruiting the support of ladies from her rural home on the mount. Kenya Slopes, also the second tallest mountain peak in the world, which the country is named after. Greenbelt was a genuine overhead vision of a green belt stretching across the country's geography. It has planted about 51 million trees in Kenya so far. Wangari's Trees of Peace by Jeanette Winter is a great children's book that will appeal to children across the world. A trip to the country's capital will also provide you the opportunity to wander through the Ngong Forest, the world's only forest of indigenous trees in a capital city. This forest is three times the area of Central Park in New York City, and it is home to 190 of Kenya's bird species, as well as more than 200 native tree species. Visitors are urged to leave their greenbelt footprint by planting an indigenous Kenyan tree, such as Wangari's favorite, the Nandi flame. Number 4. There are famous marathon runners, then there are Maasai cricket warriors. The internet is packed with search results for famous Kenyan runners who have won gold, silver, and bronze medals, often all three at once in New York City, Boston, and London for decades. The Kalenjin tribe of Kenya's highlands, which generates most of the country's long-distance runners, has been the subject of extensive genetic studies. Their athletic ability is attributed to a variety of variables, including high-altitude training, lean bodies, and possibly food. But have you heard of the Maasai? Not just their warrior abilities, but also their athletic abilities? A Maasai warrior cricket squad adopted the game a few years ago and represented Kenya in various international events. This gentleman's game was quickly accepted by Kenya's original nomadic tribe, the stewards of the country's vast drylands, demonstrating that indigenous peoples can easily transition into contemporary society. Number 3. A Paradise of a Thousand Birds Kenya is home to 1,132 different bird species. In less than 24 hours, 342 of them can be seen in one park, setting an official world record for the most bird species sighted in a single day. Furthermore, Nairobi National Park, conveniently positioned near to the country's international airport, is home to approximately half of these bird species. This simply means that if you were transiting through Nairobi and had a few hours to stay before your next flight, you could exit the airport, visas on arrival are available for most passport holders and go on an exhilarating bush safari through the park, which spans 70 square miles, and is home to four of the big five wild animals. Nairobi National Park is a one-of-a-kind destination. It is the world's only national park located in a country's capital city. It is home to Kenya's national bird, the brightly colored purple-breasted roller. Surprisingly, this bird is well known for being monogamous. Number 2. Kenya is known as the Flower Garden of Europe. To put it another way, without Kenya, there would be no Valentine's Day. That's not entirely true. If you received a magnificent, deep red, fragrant bouquet of roses for Valentine's Day, chances are they flew directly from Nairobi's Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to your home. How's that for reducing your carbon footprint? This is because Kenya is the world's third largest grower of roses. These roses are also compressed into an oil that is utilized in Yves Saint Laurent's Paris and Hermes Rose Ikebana scents. Roses, which are also known for their medical benefits due to their high vitamin C content, can be converted into a delectably delicate nightcap that aids in sleep pattern regulation for beautiful dreams. Number 1. Apple Siri originated from Swahili. You may be aware that Swahili, together with English is Kenya's official language, but did you realize that your imagined iPhone pal's name is derived from a Swahili word that means secret? 
the name came up after several other choices, according to Siri co-founder Adam Chaya. The name was nostalgic for this Norwegian-American global citizen because of its twofold meaning. It means secret in Swahili, and beautiful woman who leads you to triumph in his native Nordic tongue. Adam had contemplated name his daughter Siri but learned that a similar word written Shiri in Japanese means but. Have you ever visited Kenya? Let us know in the comment section below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.